I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resource Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the sweet gum. Sweet gum, liquid ambar styrosifluia, is an important commercial hardwood tree of the southeastern United States. It's also known as red gum, sap gum, and star leaf gum. It is a relative of witch hazel and the only species of liquid ambar in North America. The three other species are native to Asia. Sweet gum is a large deciduous tree that can grow over 100 feet tall and 3 to 5 feet in diameter. It is a relatively fast growing tree that can live about 200 to 300 years. It is classified as shade intolerant and when young the tree has a pyramid shaped crown but as the tree matures the crown becomes more oval and rounded. Sweet gum's native range includes the southeastern United States up into southern Illinois and west into Oklahoma, with scattered locations in central Mexico, Guatemala, Belize, El Salvador, Honduras, and Nicaragua. It is a bottomland species, but is found in a variety of soils. It grows best in moist alluvium soils. It tolerates flooding and is somewhat sensitive to drought. While a bottomland species, it can often be a pioneer species in old fields and logged areas. Sweet gum makes an excellent urban tree, provided it has a large enough area for root development and there are numerous selected cultivars used in landscaping. The leaves of this tree are its best identifying characteristic. They are alternately arranged on the twig, simple and star-shaped, with five to seven lobes. The lobes are typically pointed, but occasionally can be rounded. And the leaves are usually about four to six inches across and the margins are finely serrated. They are shiny green above, paler underneath with pubescence in the axils of the veins. They are fragrant when crushed, and autumn color is typically outstanding. On a single tree, leaves may be yellow, red, or purple. Sweet gum is monoecious, meaning one house, which means a tree has both male and female flowers. The female flowers are on slender hanging stalks and capped with rounded heads. The male flowers are in upright clusters and often tinged with red. The flowers bloom in early spring between March and early May, and the flowers are wind pollinated. The fruit is a spiny, woody, spherical cluster of capsules that's one to one and a half inches in diameter. The fruit is a lustrous green, maturing to brown in September to November. The capsules have a beak like look and open when ripe to release small winged seeds, usually one or two per capsule. The winged seeds are dispersed by wind, and the empty fruiting globes remain on the tree over winter. Trees begin seed production between 20 and 30 years up until about 150 years of age. Seed production is variable and depends greatly on climactic conditions during the growing season. Good seed crops occur about every three years. The bark is gray-brown with irregular furrows and rough rounded ridges, and the twigs often have quirky outgrowths, as you can see in the photo. The handsome wood has wide sapwood that is whitish to light pink or tan, often called sap gum, and the heartwood is gray to reddish brown and is referred to as red gum. The heartwood that has darker black streaks is called figured red gum, and the wood has a good luster, and the wood is sometimes called satin walnut. The heartwood is rated moderately durable to decay, but the sapwood is rated as perishable. Sweet gum is a moderately important tree for wildlife. A variety of birds and mammals consume the seeds, including towhees, purple and gold finches, chickadees, and chipmunks and squirrels. Beaver also utilize the wood to construct their dams. And since it's a common bottomland species, it provides nesting sites for wetland and bottomland birds. The wood is used for veneer, lumber, plywood, furniture, including speaker and acoustic cabinets, crates, and railroad ties. The national champion sweet gum, as of 2021, is in Burlington, New Jersey. It is 228 inches in circumference, 132 feet tall, with a 112 foot crown spread. The Kentucky champion sweet gum, as of 2021, is in Fulton County at the Fish and Wildlife Obanion Creek Wildlife Management Area. It's 152 inches in circumference, 140 feet tall, with a 75 foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about champion trees, check out American Forest National Champion Trees or check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about sweet gum. Sweet gum's name comes from the clumps of sap that ooze from the bark if the tree is wounded. 
Medicinally, sweet gum is known as cope balsam, which is a resinous gum that was used for the treatment of a variety of ailments throughout Mexico and Europe. Pioneers used sweet gum resin for healing wounds, chewing, incense, and to make perfume. The resins were used during World War I and World War II in manufacturing drugs, soaps, and adhesives. The scientific genus name liquid ambar is from the Latin liquidus and ambar, meaning liquid amber, referring to the resin, and the species name styrosifluia is Latin for styrax flowing, referring to the resinous sap that comes from the bark. I'm glad you joined me to learn about the sweet gum and get the opportunity to get out into your woodland, local park, or neighborhood and enjoy the sweet gum.